Now, to start things off, let's talk about watches. Because I know there are some guys out there that says, you know what, Antonio? I bet you can't even find one watch under 25 bucks that's great for everyday carry. And the answer is, you're right. I didn't find just one. I found 11. <laughs> So first up, we've got the Casio F91W and we've got the Casio A158WA. Now at this price point, you're going to notice most of the watches I'm going to talk about are digital. Guys, you can't expect to get a high quality mechanical watch really under 25 bucks. That being said, digital watches have a lot of advantages. First up, they're more accurate than any mechanical watch out there. In addition, they're incredibly durable and because they run on a battery, you don't have to worry about winding them up all the time. Now, both these watches, well under 25 bucks, but they're also relatively small at 33 millimeters. Let's size up. Next up, we've got the Casio F108 and the W800. Now, both these watches, well under 25 bucks, and with the larger size, 42 millimeters, they're going to look great on any wrist. I also like they got the basic features that you need. Water resistance to 100 meters, the backlit light, the stopwatch, and even though they're not G-Shocks, these are actually very durable watches. But let's say you want something with a few more buttons. You want a full-on calculator. You're an accountant and you want to always be prepared. Well, guys, you want to either grab a data bank or the classic Casio calculator. And again, both these watches, if you look around, you can find them under 25 bucks. Wow. But I get it. You want something more stylish. You want something that has world time, has a countdown timer, looks like it would come out of a James Bond movie. You need to go grab the Casio Royale. Whether in silver or black, you're going to find this watch has tons of style, a lot of fun little gadgets, and a cool watch with an interesting history. Now, like a lot of you guys, I'm a huge fan of dive watches. Can you find a great dive watch under 25 bucks? Well, you're not going to have like a rotating bezel that actually snaps and prevents going back. So again, yes, don't trust your life with this thing. But if you just simply want a beater watch, you like the dive watch look, Casio MRW 200H. This one is a great option. And by the way, if you're not a Casio fanboy, I get it. Another brand you should look at, Timex. The Ironman, if you're active, if you swim, you need to be able to count laps. The Ironman is an amazing classic watch that's been around for a while. The Expedition, another great watch. What I like about this, multiple alarms. It's got a chronograph for like 100 hours. This thing also has a compass right here on the top. Just a great watch. Again, these are going to be a little bit more than the 25 bucks, but look around, you could find some great deals. Now, gents, throughout this video, you're going to notice I can't give you exact prices on each of these items. Now, the reason for that is most of them are listed over on Amazon and they've got what's known as dynamic pricing. And that is the price goes up, the price goes down depending on demand. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate it when I overpay for something. That's why when I'm shopping online, I always use ShopTagger. Seriously, gents, if you're not using ShopTagger to find the best deal for you online, then you are leaving money on the table. They've got this free app that downloads right to your iPad, to your phone, to your computer. And no matter what device you have, ShopTagger's got you covered. And this app, this plugin, this tool makes it so easy for you to go shop online and always get the best deal. So this is how it works. First, use the link down in the description of today's video to grab ShopTagger absolutely free. Next up, shop like you normally do at all of your favorite stores. ShopTagger works with over 5,000 stores and it's going to help you organize all those products into wish lists. Next up, ShopTagger is going to let you know when that item's on sale, when it's back in stock, and when you go to check out, ShopTagger is going to check the entire web for the best coupon codes out there to make sure you always get the best deal. Gents, I'm linking to ShopTagger down in the description of today's video. It's absolutely free. Grab it. Download it on your phone, on your iPad, on your computer. Use this tool to save money every time you're shopping online. Now, gents, let's get into budget multi-tools. So first up, the Gerber Dime. Absolutely love this one. When it comes to value, the number of tools you get for the price, this one is very difficult to beat. And you have 10 tools in one. First up, we've got spring-loaded needle nose pliers. We've got a pair of wire cutters. We have a fine edge blade, a retail package opener, scissors, medium flat driver, crosshead driver, a bottle opener, tweezers, and a file. Gents, when it comes to value, the Gerber dime is hard to beat, highly recommended. But what if the dime's still too much? It's a little bit too large. You want something half the size, half the weight. Guys, check out a classic Swiss army knife. Now, this one right here, made by Victorinox, has a lifetime guarantee. If you look around, you can easily find this under 25 bucks. What I like about this one, it has all the tools you need and nothing more. It has a basic blade, a nail file, screwdriver, scissors, key ring, tweezers, and a toothpick. 
Now, personally, I think they're stretching it a bit by listing the key ring as one of the tools, but still six solid tools in this little package right here, a good deal. Now, if all that sounds like way too much, you just simply want a blade and you want a bottle opener, the screw pop is what you're looking for. What I like about this one is it is simple, no frills. You can also operate it with one hand and that right there puts this high on my list because again, if you're just using this to be able to open up packages all day, you want something that's going to be safe. This is what you're looking for. Now, what if you don't need a blade? What if you travel a lot? You don't want it taken away by the TSA. Guys, you got a couple options. You've got the Night Eyes multi-tool right here and you've got the Gerber Shard. So this Night Eyes, now this company makes carabiners and what I like about this one is it's incredibly simple. It's got an edge right here that you can use to, I've used this to open up packages. It also has a bottle opener and it's got some measurements on it as well. Now the Gerber Shard, this one I really like as well because it's got this end point, which is a screwdriver, but also you can use it to puncture and to get open a package. It's got a nail remover, a bottle opener. So both of these tools useful if that's what you need them for. Oh, and I almost forgot this one. It was on my keychain, and that is my Swiss Tech utility key. Now, what I love about this one is it literally looks like a key. I've gone through TSA probably 20 times. They have never actually taken this away, and it's got a small blade. It has a screwdriver. It's got a serrated edge. It has a bottle opener. Just a lot of little useful tools. I forget it's there half the time. Now, this next everyday carry item gets looked over all the time. What am I talking about? the key ring. So the first keychain system I want to talk about is the Troika exchangeable ring system. Why I love this, it's incredibly simple to remove any key from your key ring, literally within seconds. I simply right there, pull on that and remove the key right from the key system. Next up, we've got the free key system. So if you don't want something that complicated, but you want an improvement on the existing key ring, this is the one for you because you simply squeeze right here and all of a sudden you're able to go in there and remove a key. This one right here is just really nice and simple. Next up, let's talk pens. First up, we've got the classic Fisher Space Pen. If you're not familiar with this pen, you can write upside down, you can write in zero gravity, which was an issue for pens, which is why the Russians solved it by simply sending up pencils. But us Americans know, we had to spend an ungodly amount of money to develop a type of pen that actually could work in zero gravity. Now, my favorite part about this pen is how small it is when you close it up. So this is a great pen that you can just stick into your pocket and not worry about. All that being said, smaller pens are easier to lose. So if you want something that's more traditional in shape, but you still want a Fisher space pen, grab the military version. So this space pen right here in matte black, I really like it. It writes well, writes in zero gravity. It's got everything that a space pen has, except it's a little bit larger and easier to keep track of. Next up, we've got the Parker Jotter. This one has been around for a long time. It's relatively inexpensive and it's a classic quality pen. Do you want something with tradition, something that's been around, something that has respect in the pen world? Well, to a certain degree, the Jotter is a great entry level point pen. Next up, we've got the Zebra F701. So they don't have the same reputation as Parker, but Zebra makes a solid pen here. And again, it's well under 25 bucks. In fact, you can get a few of them for 25 bucks. And what I like about this pen is when people hold it, it feels heavy. It's got a nice way to it. I love the texture right here at the point. Easily, I would say this is one of my favorite pens and it's under 10 bucks if you look for it. I know some of you guys are saying, Antonio, I'm incredibly practical. I don't need a fancy pen. Well, how about a pen that you can use as a weapon? Yeah, you're going to like this one right here. Everyday carry fans put together this pen. Absolutely love it. It's got an end right here where I can break through glass or I could use as a weapon. I can open it up right here. It's got a small tool that I could use. I can also, yes, it does have a pen head as well. It also has a simple flashlight. So if I want to be able to turn that on right there, boom. Guys, a pen like this, yeah, who doesn't want to carry it, especially if it's under 25 bucks. Now let's talk about flashlights. First up, I've got this XML T6. It's relatively large for an everyday carry, but I know a lot of you guys, maybe at night you simply work and you want to be able to have 1600 lumens, boom, you've got it. But I know a lot of you guys want something smaller. So how about this one where you're buying a flashlight, look for how many batteries it takes. This one, a single double AA, relatively small flashlight. I like it and it's got just over 100 lumens. I think 180, 160 with this one. This one right here, even smaller. Look at the size difference right here. But this smaller one doesn't have a flash, doesn't have any type of button that turns it on, but it does do a good job and is something you could attach to a keyring and not even know it's there. 
And let's not forget wallets. So under 25 bucks, you're not always going to find the best quality, but you can find some decent quality out there. What I like about this one is for you Europeans. Yes, I know you guys need to have a little change area so that you can put your coins. Also, if you wanted to have keys here, this one made by Visconti, or if you just want something simple, I always recommend going with a simple leather piece that, yeah, just holds a few cards. That's all a lot of you guys need. My favorite one though, and the one I use daily is the Monet's. I'm going to link to it down in the description. What I love about this one is it's also RFID protected and it attaches right here to my phone. So for me, having everything in one place is perfect. Next up on our everyday carry, and it's going to be a little bit more than 25 bucks because I normally carry a hundred dollars cash, $50 bill, $20 bill, $20 bill, five and five. Why that breakup? Five, if I'm going to be traveling, if I need to tip somebody, that's the, I feel the appropriate amount nowadays. And the $50, the $20, those can get me out of a jam if for some reason my credit card's not working. And by the way, to keep that cash in place under 25 bucks, a simple money clip right here for a couple dollars or spend a bit more to get a magnetic one with a leather outside. Yeah, for about 15 to 20 bucks. And don't forget about your hair, a basic comb, a couple bucks or look cool and have a comb that can flip out. Now, what about headsets? So at this price, you're not getting AirPods Pro, but I have had good luck with Taltronics. For years, I have used these, absolutely love them. They connect, they sound great. They do have the wire going back and forth, but for 25 bucks, I think they're a great deal. And don't forget to carry something personal, something fun. For me, a challenge coin. If I run into another Marine, he doesn't have his coin. Guess what? He needs to buy me a drink. And it also reminds me of my time with 3rd Battalion 1st Marines, the balls of the Corps. So what video to watch next? How about my everyday carry? Find out what I carry with me every single day right here.